Southern residents have a complex social structure, and we first need to identify which animals are hanging out together. Even though we're working under a federal research permit, we want to give the whales plenty of space. These guys, however, choose to make collecting ID photos easy by surfacing right next to the boat, and we record each animal's unique saddle patch markings. It's coming up right here. Our next job is to gather as much health and diet data as possible. Working with large wild predators is always challenging. If these were polar bears or African lions, we would have to mobilize them with anesthesia to take a blood sample or a fecal sample from those animals. That's not possible with southern resident killer whales. Instead, our main tool is a fine mesh net. Brad's many years spent among the killer whales really comes into play now as he tries to read their behavior and anticipate their movements, especially their bow movements. Most people that are whale watching are out looking for whales, but add in 24 years of education and a couple of scientists, and we're out looking for whale poop. <laughs> 